So we're in the geometry calculator on GeoGebra, and we're going to try to build Sierpinski's triangle. So I'm going to click on more here, and what I want to do is a, an equilateral triangle. So all three sides have the same length. And so I'm going to click here on regular polygon to do that. Now you're going to click two points, one, two, and then I'm going to tell it that I want my polygon to have three sides, and now it's built me an equilateral triangle. Now I can, oops, escape, undo that. I can move that point once I click on the move tool to make my triangle look a little bit bigger and a little flatter. I'm also going to adjust the settings here. So I'm going to click on settings and let's see. Here we go. Under labeling, I want no new objects. And that's just because this is going to get busy if I have too many points going. Okay, so if you remember from the picture of Sierpinski's triangle, the outer shape was a triangle and then inside were a bunch of triangles too. So we're going to start with a triangle and then we want to find the midpoint of the two endpoints and we're going to plot a point there. And there's a um, function that will do that in GeoGebra. So it's called midpoint or center here. And I just have to tell it the two points that I want the midpoint of. So there's one. I'm going to do another one and another one. Now those three midpoints create a triangle, so I'm going to create the triangle formed by those three points. And I'm, whoops, I'm going to, I hit escape there, I'm going to go back to the arrow, I'm going to change the color here to white and we're going to fill it in. So basically what this is going to look like is that I've removed that middle. So let me actually make this one darker so you can see that. Okay, so I, it looks like I've removed that middle triangle. Alright, now what we want to do is just repeat this process. So you can see I have three smaller triangles now and in each of those I'm going to do the same thing. So I want to find the midpoints of each of their um, endpoints. So let me do that for all three of these. Now you could also do this with just a pencil and a piece of paper on your own at home. Okay, so now I'm going to draw the triangles in the middle and it's going to default to that blue color so it's hard to see it. Whoops, let me escape again. But if I click on it and switch to white then you can see that triangle removed. Okay, so I'm going to do that for the other ones. And so remember in a fractal the idea is that I see the same pattern repeating itself over and over and over again. So you can see once I've filled this in that each of these upper triangles look like the bigger triangle. Let's fill this one in. Alright, you can repeat this process again on each of these little blue triangles and you can keep going as many times as you want to try to get a figure that looks um, like the Sierpinski triangle that we had on the slide. Um, again, you could also just do this with pencil and paper at home. You can adjust the size of your uh, points here if you want by just putting that all the way down and you can change the colors too, um, but it's going to default to this bigger point. Alright, in our next video we're going to show you how to make sort of a 3D um, figure that looks kind of like Sierpinski's triangle but with tetrahedron.